So you have an Amazon Fire TV stick and you have an issue where it's frozen. Doesn't matter where it's frozen. You can be frozen in the middle of like Netflix or Prime Video or frozen somewhere, somewhere else. It doesn't matter. I'll give you two ways to get you up and running. So first thing to try is go ahead and restart it simply by using the remote itself, okay? If, if this doesn't work, then we'll go to step number two, okay? Anyway, go ahead and grab your remote, and what you want to do is press and hold two buttons, okay? You want to press the select or the OK button here in the middle, and the play, pause button here. You want to press and hold the same time for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, let go, okay? So we'll do it together. The select button and the play button here. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold for 10 seconds. Just keep on holding. Seven, eight, nine. 10 and then go ahead and let go and then he says your fire tv stick is powering off so it's going to turn off and it's going to restart and give it one second to boot back up and we're booting back up now if that didn't work for you if you weren't able to do that because the frozen screen still wouldn't let you restart then the second thing that you can do is this so first thing is go ahead and make sure that you're on the uh make sure the tv is on and suppose that you have a frozen screen or whatnot and then what you want to do is you want to pull the power to your Fire TV stick, okay? So here's my Fire TV stick, and you can see the USB um, cable is what provides it power, and I have it plugged in to my TV. What you want to do is press, uh, pull it out for 10 seconds and plug it back in. If you don't have this in here, you have it in a wall adapter, then go ahead and unplug it out of the wall socket for 10 seconds and plug it back in, okay? So let me pull this out. Let me go ahead and wait 10 seconds. Okay, it's been about 10 seconds. Let's plug it back in now, and now it should boot back up, and you should no longer have a frozen screen. Give it one second here to turn back on. All right. There you go. You should no longer have a frozen screen. If you still have issues where it's uh, constantly freezing, uh, just comment below. I have some fixes for that as well. All right. See you. Bye.